Okay guys, in this video I want to talk about Telnet. Telnet stands for Teletype Network. Developed in 1969 and standardized as one of the first internet standards by the Internet Engineering Task Force or IETF. It is a network protocol used to virtually access a computer and to provide a two-way collaborative and text-based communication channel between two machines that provides a common line interface for communication with a remote device or server. It is used as a standard TCP IP protocol. Computer which starts connection known as the local computer and computer which is being connected to which accepts the connection known as a remote computer or remote server. When the connection is established between local and remote computer during telnet operation, the remote computer will be displayed by local computer. Telnet operates on client server principle. Local computer uses Telnet client program and the remote computer uses Telnet server program. For example, user connect remotely to a machine using Telnet. They are prompted to enter their username and password combination to access the remote computer. Telnet can be used for a variety of activities on a server, including editing files, running various programs, and checking email. Telnet can be used to test or troubleshoot remote web or mail servers. FTP may also be used along with Telnet for users working to send data files. Also, Telnet is most likely to be used by program developers and anyone who has need to use specific applications or data located at a remote machine. Telnet is not secure protocol and is unencrypted because it was developed before the mainstream adaptation of the internet, making it outdated in terms of modern security. Telnet sends all messages in clear text and has no specific security mechanism. By monitoring a user connection, anyone can access a person's username, password, and other private. Thus, in many applications and services, Telnet has been replaced by Secure Shell or SSH. The use of Telnet over the public internet should be avoided due to the risk of eaves dropping. Okay guys, now I am in the GNS3 environment. Look at this diagram. This is my local host or my local computer. Means this interface connected to my physical computer. That right now I am recording this video and connected to the internet. Via internet, I have access to this remote server. My computer IP address is 192.168.1.1/24. Let's check the connection between local host and remote server. Type here CMD. Look, this is my local computer and my user. And right now I want to ping the local, the remote server, ping 192.168.1.2. See, the connection between PC and, and remote server is OK. And the GNS3 host connected to this adapter. See. The IP address is the same 192.168.1.1 and this is the remote server 
that I want to access via Telnet and change some setting in the remote server. For example, change the host name, checking the email address, and editing file, and so on. And this is the Putty software. I locate it in my local host. Double click here and choose the Telnet option. See? Type here the name or the IP address. After typing this address, click open. Now you should type the password of remote server. After you typing the password, now you have access to the remote server and you can change or editing file or whatever you want to do, you can do remotely thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel